Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Happy Sunday afternoon, or it's, I guess Sunday noon, I guess that's what you call it. I want to do a quick video on some new parts that I got for the Jeep that y'all already kind of knew about, but I wanted to show y'all. I can't do the install today. I'll have to do it tomorrow on Monday because I don't have the tools here that I need. Um, and I'll go in more into depth about that once I show y'all. But I got a new track bar for the Jeep. This is from Rubicon Express. And uh, I got this from Amazon, actually. Um, believe it or not, Amazon has some good deals, honestly. Um, I'm not really sure how. I guess I don't, they probably have good deals with actual manufacturers, and that's probably why. But um, I actually got this pretty cheap. I think it was like 120 bucks for this track bar. It's adjustable, so I can actually adjust it. Um, some of you might be wondering why I might need an adjustable track bar. And I'll just a quick answer would be when you lift a vehicle my jeep has a three inch lift on it um <clears throat> i guess I'll, I'll jump into what the track bar does real quick so all the track bar mostly does is keeps your axle from tracking uh, side to side under the vehicle so of course on a coil spring straight axle vehicle um you have your control arms and then you have your springs holding the vehicle up um, well, what the track bar does is it keeps your axle from swaying side to side because your control arms have a little bit of give. Because, um, I mean, they're bushings, they're rubber bushings, so they would have a little bit of give. So the track bar keeps your axle from swaying side to side underneath the vehicle. So what happens when you lift a vehicle essentially with a stock track bar is since stock track bars don't usually have adjustment, when you lift it and you, you put more length on the springs you essentially are are creating sort of a bind is what's happening because you're lifting the vehicle and the geometry of the regular track bar wasn't made for that lift and so when you're lifting it you're essentially pushing one side out and pushing the other side out as well which might give you a make your vehicle a little off center from the axle essentially so with the adjustable track bar, I can actually measure from, I usually measure from the frame to the edge of the tire or yeah, the edge of the tire is probably the best way to do it. So you find a, a lug on your tire and measure from your frame to the outside and that'll kind of let you know your distance. And then you measure the other side and you'll know, okay, so my vehicle is farther on one side than it is the other. So with the adjustable track bar, I'll actually obviously be able to adjust that. So now I can measure side to side. It kind of sucks because you know I'll have to measure. I can get it close, and so usually you don't need that much of adjustment after you've done a lift, just depending on how big of a lift you've done. Most bigger lifts will come with a drop bracket anyway, so it'll keep it sort of at a stock position. Um, but since I don't need a whole lot, I can kind of guesstimate where I need or how much I need to put in it. So I can measure beforehand and know, okay, it's either off center or it's not off center. It doesn't always happen depending on what size lift you have. So I have a three inch lift. It may not have been enough to bring it uh, off center, but um, if it did, then I can measure and say, okay, on one side, it needs to go either in or out more. And I can adjust that. I can measure from stock and say, okay, I'll do a quarter turn or one turn. And then usually I might have to pull it out once just to, just to check. Um, so yeah, I got adjustable track bar. I'll be putting that on tomorrow. Uh, the only reason I can't do it today is because I have to drill out um, the mounting points because the factory style, which a lot of the factory styles are are like that, but it's a tapered uh, ball joint type uh, end on there. So it's tapered to fit up in there and essentially seize, um, which is what they usually do. So you need a pickle fork to bring them out. But since it's tapered, and I'm going through with a normal bolt and not having a taper anymore because I've got a, uh, what do they call this? It's a uniball. I think it's a, a I'll enter the name somewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll put it up there so you all know because I forgot what it's called. I think it's called like a uniball. But since I'm doing away with that and I'm doing a normal bolt, the actual eyelet will sit between these two spacers and so it'll go up in there and essentially it will just sit like that. So that'll sit against the stop and then the bolt will just go through the mounting point. Um, so because of that, and since this is a bigger bolt than what 
is on the stock ball joint type end, um, I'll have to drill that out to a 5 8 And then actually on the other side as well, they do a bigger bolt as well. So I'll have to drill that out to a half inch. So I don't have a drill at my house, sadly. I wish that's the only thing that sucks about not having my own shop and my own tools here is I can't do some jobs that require um, certain specs to be, to be done. Um, but I'll do a good video on that tomorrow. I just wanted to do a small part update on what we're doing. We're gonna do this track bar and I might do some other stuff with um, the bumper and the rock sliders. So I guess we'll see what I can get to tomorrow. Um, but yeah, new part update, new track bar going on and I'll do an install video of that and show y'all how easy or hard that is gonna be. So hopefully it'll be pretty easy. Um, other than that, I just want to do that quick video. Um, I have a lot of things going on with my Duramax too. I finally got it. I was having some issues with the drive line, but I got that fixed. So going to be doing some TLC to that. I have a new fender to put on it, a new, uh, dually fender. I need to get that wrapped. Uh, I need to get it put on. I have a five inch exhaust I need to put on it. And then I also need to get it tuned. So, um, hopefully I have some more videos of that coming up as well. So just want to do a Sunday update on the Jeep and uh, let y'all know. So thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to y'all later.